This is the first time after the revolution we've seen like women shoulder to shoulder with men are burning the headscarves. And headscarves is not just a small piece of cloth for Iranian women. It is the main pillar of a religious dictatorship. And for Iranian regime, headscarf, hijab is like the Berlin Wall. If we tear this wall down, the Islamic Republic won't exist. So by burning headscarves, Iranian women actually sending a message to the regime that this is a revolution and this is just the beginning of uh, the end. They want uh, to end gender apartheid regime. And that is why you see that teenagers are facing guns and bullets. Teenagers saying that we have nothing to lose. They, they actually saying that uh, we're ready to die, but we don't want to live with the humiliation. So that is why I believe that this is totally different from previous protests that we have been witnessing, because this time it's against uh, gender apartheid regime and Iranian made up their mind to end the Islamic Republic. But uh, like all the other times, you know, for 43 years, especially the diaspora has been talking about regime change. And for 43 years, the international community hasn't supported it. The United States and Europe haven't supported it. So what is different this time? What are they doing to help and are they doing enough? Look, this is um, actually the moment that the West must take strong action rather than just condemning the brutal uh, death of Mahsa Amini or condemning uh, the crackdown uh, it's not enough. Some of the Western country actually sanction morality police. Are you kidding me? Is that all you can do? People are getting killed right now in the streets. And uh, at the same time, the Western democratic countries trying actually to get a deal, nuclear deal. Believe me, um, right now, this is the moment that all politicians around the world, they have to take action and recall their ambassadors from Iran. I mean, we see solidarity across the globe. Solidarity is beautiful, but it's not enough. Now, Iranian people are getting killed. If the democratic countries do not get united to um, he recognize this revolution, and instead negotiating with our murderers, the Iranian regime have uh, no reason to stop killing and murdering. So they can do a lot. First, recall your ambassadors. Second, shut down the embassies outside Iran. Third, I mean, it's not too much to ask.